Hey everybody, welcome back. In today's video, I want to have a look at Uniswap, but before I do, I first want to thank today's sponsor, Fairdesk. Fairdesk is an exchange, and if you're interested, you can click the link in the description for a deposit bonus and my copy trade. I make a trade on all the alts I review, so if you don't want to miss that, go check it out. Now, if you're here for the short answer, I think Uniswap is going to go down in the short medium term. I don't see it going up much this year, and I definitely see it sweeping these lows at the sort of, definitely at the sort of below the $4 range. I definitely see us coming to $4, and I personally think we will go below. Um, so if that's all you're here for, uh, there it is. But if you wanna know why I think that, first of all, and probably most importantly, just the general macro trend that Uniswap has been in. I mean, for over a year now, well over a year, it's been stuck in this really strong downward trend. And we can see that looking at the bull market support band as well and looking at the support band that I've drawn that's sort of just where Uniswap's bounced off regularly. Uh, I'm sorry this is a bit inaccurate. I drew this on a logarithmic scale and um, it doesn't quite line up perfectly. We're on the, um, well, the price scale, not logarithmic. Um, so it doesn't line up perfectly, but you can see that basically with this bull market support band, every time it goes above, it usually doesn't stay up for very long. And when it comes back below, it usually sweeps this support here. It puts in a low um, and it finds support on the support and it'll bounce up. And whether it goes back up, it doesn't always um, sweep the highs. It doesn't always go back to this resistance up here, but it does always come back and test this support whenever it breaks down below. And sometimes it tests it twice before it finally goes back up, before it's able to break above the bull market support band. Again, it doesn't spend too long. Sometimes we spend a bit of time around the bull market support band, but we ultimately always do come back down and test this support. Now, recently we've gone back above, back in June, mid-June, we went back up our, above our bull market support band. And then we recently, back in August, crashed down below. And it kind of cements in my brain that we are on our way down to test this support line again. We've also recently back tested a previous support that is now acting as a resistance and we've been rejected from it. So another sort of bearish sign for Uniswap. Zooming out, we can see this green sort of zone here. This is where deep value or good value uh, would be in Uniswap and it's sort of anywhere down from $3.70. Uh, and we can see we're not too far away from that with $4.30 and to check how much of a move we would need to come down to this level, it would be a 15% move, which isn't very, um, you know, unrealistic at all, to be honest with you. We can also see we've come down here multiple times before as well. We came down in sort of the summer of 2022 twice, we tested it twice, and then we also came down in the summer, just gone, uh, on in June, um, June 9th actually, which is my birthday, funnily enough. But um, we have come down and tested this m quite a few times. And what this says to me is that, okay, the first bounce that it's had got rejected properly and it was able to spend a serious amount of time above this line. It's been rejected again and it hasn't managed to bounce quite as high as it first did. We're coming back down again now. Maybe we don't see much of a bounce at all and maybe, you know, we touch this line, we have a small bounce, and then in a month we're we're back at it and maybe below it. I do see us sort of coming into this zone maybe once more before the bull run. And I don't see it for very long. Um, to be honest with you, I think it'll be something that we dip into and spend about a week in. Uh, something like this here, maybe a bit longer, but I think we will come down to it. Um, but I don't think it will be there for long, again, to reiterate. So that's basically everything on the USD pair. To have a look at it on its Bitcoin pair, we can see again, a general bearish macro trend that Uni's been following. We also have this sort of support that it's been following for a while until recently. Um, it's a much more short term as well. It's only from the beginning of this year, uh, just before, but it has stuck to it pretty, pretty clearly. Again, we see a very similar sort of move with Uni on its Bitcoin pair. Um, we see it sort of wicks down last summer into this deep value range. This is its Bitcoin pair now as well. And it bounces um, and it comes back down last summer. 
um, back to this sort of deep value level and it's bounced again but on its Bitcoin pair it's right at this level instead of it being still a little bit above like we are here we've got a little bit of a way down to go um, on its Bitcoin pair it's already there and it's sort of been recently rejected by this resistance and it looks like it might test this resistance once more um, and whether it gets rejected or not I don't know I have a feeling to be honest with you we could sort of oscillate at this level for a while but with the upcoming Bitcoin halving um, in April next year these next few months is where Bitcoin does claim back its dominance historically so we do see altcoins bleed on their Bitcoin pairs which is quite bearish for Uniswap especially considering at the sort of pivotal point we're at now where you know we first bounce we managed to clear it quite well and bought itself a year second bounce not so impressive and now we're back down here you know maybe this was our third bounce if you get me but um again uh, still speculation and generally poor performance from uniswap on its bitcoin pair again on its usd it's one of those alts that hasn't been able to stay above its yearly open if we have a look at where uh sorry uh if we have a look where uni opened at sort of this five dollar 35 cents level we're now down a whole dollar from where we currently so, sorry from where we were at the beginning of the year and there's serious resistance levels above that that we'd have to break through to even get back up to our yearly open in fact the top of this resistance line is about 50 cents above our yearly open so if we were to rock it up now straight up to this sort of resistance in the next few weeks it would be 50 cents above our yearly open uh, which is again quite pathetic anyway this is what I think personally will happen with Uniswap I think we'll come back down and test some level around here now whether it's this sort of green deep value level or whether it's this uh, support trend line I don't know um, it's kind of always difficult to say but um, you know it's kind of Again, up to you. Looking on the log logarithmic, paints the exact same story. We come back down to this deep value zone. Um, so it doesn't really change too much, to be honest with you. But again, I think we'll probably end up coming back down to this deep value before we test this support, probably. But I think this resistance will be what ends up bringing us there. Um, whether we bounce off it and then go into our deep value, uh, that does look like it's quite far out but I don't know anyway I'm going on for too long that's my current opinion I do think once we get to this we'll have a little bounce though but who knows hopefully you found this video helpful if it did like and subscribe thanks very much guys see you later